we are now on verse 3 of Genesis chapter 1. And the title of our topic is God is Light. Let me start by reading the verse. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Light. What is that? Many people are so confused in reading the book of Genesis, especially chapter 1, because in this chapter, God created the light on day 1 and another light on day 4. I was also been mystified about this because when you read it very carefully, God created another light on the fourth day of creation. So the question is, what is this light on the first day? And who is this light is all about? Let there be light. On the first day of creation, God said, let there be light. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. And light appeared like a thing separate from darkness. The phrase, let there be light, could be confusing to some modern English speakers who are used to using the word let in the context of permission as in let me out of this box or let me have the last cookie. Some might wonder who is God speaking to? Was there some cosmic jailer who was keeping the light under lock and key? There are two points that we have spotted in our verse. Number one, God said. And number two, the light. Number one, God said. God effortlessly spoke light into existence. Care of Psalms chapter 33 verse 6, Psalms 148 verse 5. These dispel the darkness of Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. Psalms chapter 33 verse 6 By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, their starry host by the breath of his mouth. Psalms 148 verse 5 Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. Number two, the light. There was two great lights in creation. Number one, the greater. And number two, the lesser lights. The sun and moon and were created later. Genesis chapter 1 verse 14 to 19 on the fourth day day. Here God was the provider of light. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 6. And will in eternity the future be the source of light. Care of Revelations chapter 21 verse 23. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 6 says, For God, who said, Let light shine out of darkness, may this light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. Revelations chapter 21 verse 23, The city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it, 
for the glory of God gives it light and the lamb is its lamp. The light shine. Who is this light that God is saying in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 6? Number 1 God who said let light shine out of the darkness. This is a direct reference to God as creator who commanded physical light into existence. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. Number 2, the light of the knowledge of the glory of God, the same God who created physical light in the universe, is the same God who must create supernatural light in the soul and usher believers from the kingdom of darkness to his kingdom of light. Colossians chapter 1 verse 13. The light is expressed as the knowledge of the glory of God. That means to know that Christ is God incarnate. To be saved, one must understand that the glory of God shone in Jesus Christ. That is the theme of John's Gospel. See note on John chapter 1 verse 4 to 5. John chapter 1 verse 4 to 5. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not Overcome. Overcome it. Understanding the verse. What do we learn and understand in our verse? Number one, we learn that God is light. He is not an ordinary light, but God is a light that shines so bright that even the darkness cannot overcome it. Number two, God is not just an ordinary light, but He is the God who gives light to men, and in Him was life. Number three, the light is expressed as the knowledge of the glory of God. That means to know that Christ is God incarnate. In application, let's read John chapter 8, verse 12. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. 1 John chapter 1, verse 5. This is the message we have heard from him and declare to you, God is light. In him, there is no darkness at all. To end, Christ is God and he is the light. In him was life and he is the supernatural light in the soul, and usher believers from the kingdom of darkness to his kingdom of light. Colossians chapter 1 verse 13. Because God is light. Amen.